today we are organizing all of our snacks and pantry items and giving these cabinets a nice deep clean. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mandy. I'm a stay at home mom to my son Nico, who is currently 21 months old. I make a lot of cleaning, organizing, and day in the life videos. So if that's something you think you'd like, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you a part of our channel. And if you like this video in particular, give it a thumbs up so I know that you like it. So first what I always do when reorganizing a space is take everything out, clean the shelves or whatever it is I'm organizing, and then put things back, this time in some type of order. So I started wiping the shelves down with paper towels and super clean. I don't know if you guys ever tried this, but the brand actually reached out to me and sent me a couple bottles of this stuff. And it works amazingly for tough, sticky messes like this. So for the hard stuff, I pre-treated it with the super clean and it literally wiped right off after like less than a minute of sitting on there. We have this annoying wire that hangs out of the cabinet and it's always in the way and drives me crazy. So if you're wondering what it's for, I really have no clue, but Polly said that he is going to use it to hook up some under cabinet lighting. So I guess we shall see, but for now it is nothing but a nuisance to me. I talked before um, in another video about the terrible paint job in my house and how we have to redo all the paint ourselves, but now this shows you exactly what I'm talking about. I went to wipe this shelf clean and the paint came right off. I literally had to take this little handheld vacuum and vacuum up the pieces of paint that were rubbing off this one shelf. We're falling out, we have reached disaster. Don't know where we're gonna be after And we do it all again and again and again and again Again and again and again and again We're falling, falling down, we faded But I know, I know that we can save it Cause we're like Alpha and Omega Whatever happens doesn't matter, I know we can sort it out Alpha and Omega Even if we go a lot of breakers down, I know we are Alpha and Omega So the paper towels worked okay, but then I realized that these double-sided sponges worked so much better. So I scrubbed down the shelves with the abrasive side of the sponge and then wiped them clean with the microfiber side. I'll link these sponges below for you guys because I use them all over my house. They're so convenient and they really will change your cleaning game forever. You guys have seen these in a bunch of my videos. We're falling, we're falling down, we faded. But I know, I know that we can save it. Cause we're like Alpha and Omega. Whatever. I spaced everything out on the dining room table first and filled all the containers up there so I could see everything together before deciding how I was going to organize it into the cabinets. 
I love these little glass containers from Dollar Tree for Nico's snacks. They are the perfect size for the stuff that we get for him. And they're just so visually pleasing and functional at the same time. So I used the clear jars for loose snacks that I could pour right out of the box into. Falling, falling down, we fading. But I know, I know, I know, I know we can save it. The longer baskets I just used for granola bars or anything that was individually packaged. Work it out. Cause we're like Alpha and Omega. Even if we go all out and break us down, then we can work it out. Alpha and Omega. Alpha and Omega. Whatever happens, doesn't matter. I know we can sort it out. Alpha and Omega. Even if we go all out and break us down, I know we're Alpha and Omega. Whatever so these are actually yogurt covered raisins. Nico's obsessed with them and they come in strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate yogurt. It's such a good way to get some vitamins in them from the yogurt while it's still a sweet snack that they really enjoy. We, we watch the sun go down. Over when I got to my baking down. ingredients, I just put them in sealed bags and lined them up in this larger bin just to keep them all together and all neat. Like so many times before And I know that we're not perfect But I'm gonna miss all that we had And then the stuff that I kind of had to keep in their bags, like mine and Polly's snacks, I just lined up neatly on the top shelf. just kind of played around with where everything was going to go and I ended up having to try it a few different times and switch things around a few different ways. This setup has changed the snack game for me you guys because it is so much easier having everything right there for my son to see so he can choose what he wants instead of me choosing something for him and it just going to waste because he doesn't feel like eating it. <laughs> it also gets rid of all those bulky boxes that take up so much more room that you probably don't even realize until you get rid of them all. So. When I go grocery shopping now, I immediately take everything out of its box and just put it into its designated spot, and I'm done. No more trying to fit things on an already packed shelf. No more just shoving things in there so that it turns into a mess. No more buying doubles because you couldn't see what you already had. This has really, really helped me and my whole family, so I hope you guys can get some tips from this. Dollar Tree is the way to go. They have organizers for everything. If you're like me and like to use the spring for a lot of organizing, then subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. And if you like this video in particular, give it a thumbs up so I know that you liked it. But that's it for me today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.